damn shame. Don't worry, just work out for me. Woo! Alright, Did he really just send a crap? One. Uh, he, yeah, he got me. Got bad timing. Oh my god. Oh, how did he just solo everybody? What's poppin' Guardians? So I want to start off with saying thank you so much for the support and love that was in the Mind Better Suspicious video, the Kepri Sting video, and all the other recent videos. It's really been a great motivation to the start of something new, so to say, on YouTube, as I've been heavily on more on TikTok and Twitch, but you know, this is a great, great start. So I welcome all you, all everyone, and of course, like a typical YouTuber, it's been a, a long time since I've uploaded the last video. I am sorry, but Lightfall has really been kept me busy. The new raid, the new everything, all new toys to mess around with. I'm trying to build up a collection that way the next upcoming weeks I have all kinds of different things to show off. But more importantly, the shotgun, the exotic shotgun. This thing is amazing. It is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Down to the last minute detail. I'll explain more shortly on what you can do with it, but most importantly, where do you get it? And I was lucky enough to get it day one, day one of the raid on contest mode. And here's the reaction for it. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Where's he going? Right. Right, right. So I got it, so I got it. I have no more ammo, I have no more ammo. Oh, we did it! Oh, baby, we did it! Let's go! Let's go! Good one. Oh, oh my girlfriend's what? raid team. Good luck, Charmin. Let's go. Oh, for oh, real? Oh, I got the exotic! I got the exotic! It was my clan's first day one clear, so we were very, very excited. But here it is, conditional finality. As a short and barreled, which ma nearly maximizes its handling, which is very important, we'll talk about it later. Alloy magazine, since it only has two in a magazine, it will reload very instantly when you uh, completely go through it. The solar and stasis damage, of course, and the paracausal pellets and the texture grip. We're not going to worry about the grip, but the paracausal pellets make it so that your first bullet will instantly freeze targets while the pellets land, and your second bullet, the last bullet, will cause an ignition. It is perfect. It is amazing. It'll do a lot of follow ups. The handling and the range stats. The handling is nearly maxed out, which is fantastic. The range stat is a lie. It's actually. It can map people. It really can. And here's a good example of ignition. And also, by the way, warlocks, warlocks on shade binder. Here you go. Ice rare bolts work with the shotgun. If you shatter, shatter free someone with the first bullet by landing all the pellets, which is very easy, by the way, you get cold snaps to happen. It is amazing. It is so, so, so good. So, so good. Now we're going to talk about the strengths and weaknesses of the shotgun as of course, being in a SMG meta. A shotgun's the last thing you would expect, but you know, the Immortal is more like an auto rifle on crack. So the shotgun is a really good thing to have in your back pocket to make sure that you're going to have something to deal with close, close range people. A lot of people that are right in your faces. Um, you can't pour this up with the Immortal because the Immortal is a strand weapon and the conditional finale to stasis weapon. But you have other options like Shira's Wrath or what I ended up using a lot was the Cantata that I had with compulsive reload and moving target and Suro Synergy, and this allowed me to have a very nice dueling weapon while in my back pocket I had something that was extremely, extremely dead deadly. Um, more importantly, this is the best part, the very best part of a shotgun. The most amazing part is that it is a shutdown super counter. I use this in not only trials, but I use this in quick play, and I've been using an Iron Banner this week. And my god, does it feel good to just freeze a target or an ignition a target that's in a super bubble well uh the titan the solar titan we saw earlier anything anything just can die to this because of the, the shatter and the ignition damage it's just it's so so good and if you're a shotgun enthusiast i highly recommend it it is a learning curve to have at first because not only are you just only down to two bullets which is not much of a problem because you only spawn with two bullets 
but you just have to make sure to be landing in the right ranges. So you're not going to be using this like a matador. You're not going to really blint people into from a far range. But what you're going to use this for is once you're in that five meter range, which is a little under a matador maximum range, you're going to do a lot of damage to them. And you're more than likely going to insta kill them. A lot of times you won't really even freeze them or even then you can freeze them from a good amount of range. But here's another example of the, the super shutdown. It's it's great. Also, rip the invisibility bug. I'm, I'm freaking glad it's gone. That thing was so annoying. But anyways, uh, before uh, diverging into a different topic. But yeah, this this thing, this the shotgun is just a shotgun warrior's dream. And I like to use a lot of different variety of weapons. I don't really rely too much on shotguns, but the conditional finality can get the job done. And that's the most important part is that you can be able to team wipe, if not at least win rounds very easily in Trials of Cyrus with the two shots that you need. You're more than likely going to guarantee kills and you'd also be ready for super rounds or for any high density rounds where a lot of Titans like to put up their barricades. This shotgun does a lot of damage and therefore those barricades mean nothing. I don't have a clip on it at some point but it was shown uh to slay away into uh on twitch if you like to follow me on twitch to catch a lot of the live action stuff especially a lot of live recordings of the weapon montages that i'm trying to do or build montages all that kind of stuff again that's where like kefri's horn and my bender's vision came into play a lot of it can be found on twitch artifact same on all socials if you want to go ahead and drop that follow but before segueing away from that, uh, I do want to say the biggest weaknesses that I found with the weapon is that sometimes it doesn't register and I couldn't tell if that was either because of the invisibility bug where all the players were invisible um, in the early weeks of Lightfall or if it was just an outright like, oh, I just misread the, the bullet pattern and I thought that was this is where I should have shot. Um, majority of the time, you also will break shield. So when I was playing Titan, it was very, very easy to follow up with Knockout um outside of tie-in it was more questionable i haven't played hunter but i did play a lot of warlock with the shotgun it was fine um i wanted to play with more uh shade binder with the warlock because of the ice verbal trick but it didn't really happen because either one my targets would die and then the rest of the team is already dead like the enemy team but two i think in sixes it will work perfectly but you gotta really really aggro teams in order to get that much uh cold snap uh chain freezing uh shenanigans to happen um either way it's a super super solid shotgun and i highly recommend it i would do those triumphs in order to increase the the chances for your shotgun to drop i also would recommend um waiting until the challenge mode for nezra because i'm pretty sure it's going to be the easiest like don't avoid the wipe mechanic or do avoid the wipe mechanic and just go straight for connecting dots you know definitely uh Either join up on Discord or check out your local LOG channels to uh, get some runs in. Eventually, you'll get it. I promise. I, I really was fortunate to get a day one, but I really uh, I'm a bit disappointed in myself because I should have pushed out this video a lot faster. But we were doing a lot of grinding in my Discord. We we're all trying to get our own loot, and I was tugged into a lot of raids. So I finally said, like, hey, I'm I'm, I'm done raiding. <laughs> you guys can raid. I'm I'm done. I want to play PvP. PVE grinding was blowing my brains out and. I was just done but either way uh, I guess I add a little extra thoughts because you know this is a longer video I didn't make sure to pack up a lot of content into this and a lot of it even led up to the trials weekend that uh, with the immortal and you know Jav 4 is the perfect map for a shotgun like that like you can see the amount of ranges and a lot of people are low and this allows for easier uh, follow-ups but that's the whole point it's not meant to be a shotgun like the old shotguns old fell winters lie and stuff like that but it's it's supposed to be something that hits hard and rewards players who are playing at the right ranges. Um, anyways, thoughts on Lightfall? Uh, good. It, it's fine. It's I think it'll, it'll I think it'll do fine. And I think in the upcoming seasons we're gonna see a lot of great changes to PvP. So I'm looking forward to that, especially with the Crystal blog that happened. A lot of big ups for that. Uh, a lot of interesting changes to Trials. I'm, I think like Trials is gonna be the more favorable playlist overall. Uh, Again, if you aren't interested, Trials Carries on Twitch, usually on the weekends. Uh, hopefully, as soon as possible, when the Flawless Pool is gone, I can just say, hey, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And anyways, that's pretty much it. Take it easy, Guardians.